well today I have a little bit of a mukbang for you um, I'm just gonna eat some lunch before I head to work and I'm having sushi today and you guys know I love sushi I've done many sushi eating videos um, everything else I eat I feel like is pretty boring and not mukbang worthy but every time I eat sushi I'm like let's make a video although People always comment like, oh, that's not a real mukbang, because a mukbang is supposed to be like a lot of food, which they're not wrong, but I'm still going to call it a mukbang. So today I have, um, they called this roll sushikado, which I don't know, if, I don't think that's a real roll, but that, I don't know, that's what it's called. It's just tuna, rice, and avocado, which is where the kado comes from, I guess. Um, and then ginger and the wasabi as per usual but I don't like those and I don't like soy sauce either people always think that's weird I just don't really like it I have never personally had this roll before um, my favorite favorite roll was always the Philly roll um, which is salmon avocado cream cheese and rice but the last couple times I had it, and all the cream cheese was just a little too heavy for me. I don't know. So, I'm trying this one for the first time. I'm not gonna lie, the tuna looks a little scary. I like tuna, but like in this form, it looks a little scary. I don't think I've ever had it raw before. So, we're gonna try it together and see how it goes. I'll try to show you up close what it looks like you can't see the avocado you can see it this way it is so impressive that I just did that without dropping this thing um, so yeah that's what it looks like all right cheers Take the 
straw out of my cup because it's just too loud. I'll just take the cap off. That's better. That's just water. Also, I tried something different. I'm still using natural light. Also have backlight today, which I normally don't have that on when I film. So I, th I said, let me try it today. I know my videos, especially since I've moved here, are much brighter. My walls are white, natural lighting, white bed, and I get it. And I know sometimes it is hard to fall asleep um, when what you're looking at is so bright. And I have gotten a couple of comments. It's just that I do film during the day when you get home from work at 11 p.m. You don't want to film at night. A service truck just got here, so I'm, I'm lowering my cane. Sorry about that. I don't know what's happening outside. Um, but like I was saying, when you get home at 11 o'clock at night, you don't really want to film because you're tired. So that's why I film early in the day. But that means that it's bright outside. So unless I had like blackout curtains or something, then maybe it would make it better. But I don't even have regular curtains right now yet. So I can't think about blackout curtains yet. But anyway, the backlight kind of helps there be less contrast in the, the video. And I think it helps a little bit. It also helps that it's kind of cloudy outside today. So, it's not as bright, but I do see your comments about that, and I do get it, and so I am working on it. Promise.
I am gonna cut this video short because one, I am kind of full. Two, not my favorite role in the world. And three, I know that truck probably sounds absolutely horrible on microphone. So I'm sorry this video was kind of a train wreck, but I just wanted to get like an extra video done today. It's Monday, I normally film on Tuesdays, but I thought I would get ahead of the game for you guys and I failed. So I'm really sorry, but I hope you are able to enjoy it a little bit and I promise that the next video you see will be better. Okay, thank you so much for watching.